A while back, I was working for a sales training company and managing about 10 to 12 inside-outside salespeople. I say inside-outside is because most of their business was conducted over the phone, but every now and then they'd get out of the office and make calls on some of the prospects and some of their customers. So one day I'm sitting there, I'm sitting in the sales bullpen, and I'm listening to a call, and one call in particular kind of piqued my interest. I heard one of the salespeople say, Phil, I'm going to be in your area next Tuesday. Would it be okay if I dropped in? And I let the conversation end, and I went by, and I said, Leslie, um, tell me a little bit about that call. Why did you do that? Why did you tell that to the customer? He goes, she says to me, well, you know, a few reasons. One, it's kind of hard for them to tell me no if I'm standing at the door. And, and also, we have a sales contest for whoever makes the most outside sales calls. And I thought, okay, this, this is not the most efficient way to do business. So I explained a few things to Leslie. I said, first, don't lie to a customer. Don't mislead a customer. You, you had no intention on being in the area, and you told them you were. So right off the bat, it's not a good thing to do. Two, it's going to take you going there and back, maybe seeing the prospect, maybe not seeing the prospect, 90 minutes of your day. Wouldn't that 90 minutes be more valuable making calls to prospects that you know are qualified or that you can qualify, get the pipeline, and then go out and, and see them? You know, your, your time, once again, as an inside or outside sales rep is money. If you're spending time with prospects who aren't qualified to buy, then it's really costing you money. The other reason I told Leslie is he's probably heard that one before. You're not the first salesperson that said, hey, I'll be in your area. Can I stop by or just even show up? What it does to them is it screams amateur. And you don't want to be an amateur. You want to be in the top 1% of all the salespeople out there because that's where the real cream is and that's where the real money is. So stay away from amateur lines and wasting your time. Your time is your money.